Hello the boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this really really cool and decent range input slider just using CSS, a little bit of JavaScript and HTML. With this range slider we can output the current value of the slider here and as you can see it's a little bit designed with CSS, the background color is changing with the current value of this range slider. Pretty cool, pretty decent, pretty easy to do. Have fun watching the video right now and let's go! Alright the boys and girls, we're gonna start in the index.html and we're gonna use the input tag with the type of range. So first of all, we're gonna create a new div container and we're gonna a class of, let's say, slide container. That's the overall container of this tag. And we're gonna put a new input here. And we're gonna say input type will be range. Of course, we have to give it a min minimal value. That will be something like one. We have to give it a max value. That will be, uh, let's say 100. And we give it the start value. This will be one as well. And we will give it an ID. And so D will be something like my range. And we'll give it a class with the name slider. Alright, and that's the slider here right now. If you save this, you will see it's a slider with the standard look uh, of the browser you will use. And it's not really, really pretty decent. It's just a standard look, standard design. It's not that beautiful right now. Let's style this now. We will go into the style.css and we included the styles.css in the index.html, of course. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say dot slide container for style the slide container class. And we will give it a, let's say, width of 75%. And we'll say margin minus top will be 200 pixel to bring it in the middle of the container right now. After that, we're gonna say dot slider. First things first, we're gonna say minus webkit appearance set to none. It means it will take the standard look out of the slider. So we're gonna say give it a width of 100%. And we say we will give it a height of, yeah, let's say 20 pixel. We will give the background of red. For example, we will change this later. We say outline to none. Opacity to 0 0.7. 0 0.2 seconds. Transition will be opacity. 0 0.2 seconds. And border minus radius will be 12 pixel to give it that little borders here. Last thing we're gonna say box minus shadow will be single pixel, one pixel, one, ten pixel, one pixel and black to give it a little border shadow here right now. What we're gonna use to change the background color when you scroll to the right or to the left you're going to use the linear gradient by css so the linear gradient say we're going to say 90 degrees means you go in 90 degree direction left or right and you give it an rgb color uh, for example this one it's a green until 60 percent for example this one starting by 60% for example. Oh, we need a comma right now of course. And as you can see now, at the point 60% it changed the color here right now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You see here it changed the color at 60% and that's what we're gonna use later in the script.js in the JavaScript code to change the background color. We're gonna say that slider hover. And this means the opacity will change to one again. It will be a little bit lighter then. 
and we're gonna style the thumb here right now there are two different ways to style the thumb for every browser i'm gonna show you the style for the google chrome i'm using here right now and i'm gonna show you the style for the firefox so first things first we're gonna say dot slider and we're gonna say minus webkit minus slider minus thumb that's for the google chrome here right now i'm gonna say minus webkit minus appearance will set to none appearance will set to none and if you save it it's gone but we're gonna give it a width of 40 pixel we're gonna give it a height of 40 pixel and we're gonna say background will be white and you see it's back right now it's just a little square here a white square and we're gonna say border minus radius will be 50%. So we make it round, we make it round corners. It's just a ball here right now, a circle. And we're gonna say cursor will be to set to pointer. So it means if you go on to it, your cursor is changing to a pointer. You see here the hand cursor. All right, nothing happened right now. Now I'm gonna show you the code for the Firefox. It's not changing here anything because I'm using Google Chrome, of course. And on slider, we're gonna say, give me, we're gonna say minus MOZ for Mozilla Firefox minus range minus thumb. And you're gonna give it the same values here. But nothing will change it because you're using Google Chrome, of course. What we're gonna do is showing the values. So we go back into the index.html, we're gonna create a new p tag. We're gonna say value and into we're gonna create a new spawn tag. We we'll give it the ID of value and we're gonna write here nothing in. Now we have value here. Uh, let's style it a little bit. Let's just say we're gonna say p will just margin minus top 20 pixel, for example, and an opacity of 0 0.7 as well. Now we're gonna show the minimal value of the range on the left side and the maximum value of the range on the right side. And we're just gonna use this by say dot slider after. And we're gonna say content will be, because it's after, content will be 100. Because maximum value is 100. And we're gonna say color of the text of the font will be white. Font minus size will be something like to REM, we're gonna say position on uh, position on absolute. We're gonna say left to 80%, and we're gonna say top to let's say 26%. And now we have a value here right now. We're gonna do this with the minimal value as well. So we're gonna say here before, and we're gonna say zero, and we're gonna say left will be. Um, 12% and now we have the zero value here as well all right now we're gonna give it a little function to change the background color and to show the value here right now we're gonna create a new file we're gonna call it main.js and we're gonna include this in the index.html where I say script source will be main.js we're gonna save this and into the main.js we're gonna say first things first variable slider is equal to document dot get element by id and we're gonna take the id of the slider which is probably my range and you remember maybe and we're gonna say variable output is equal to document dot get element by id and we're gonna take the id of value it's the output is the value right and the range is the slider here and now we're gonna say output dot in a html is equal to slider dot value and if you save it you see it's one slider dot on input that means we change something we're gonna have a function and we're gonna say again output dot in a 
HTML will be this dot value. Now that means if you input something and input is just changing the value, you're gonna change the inner HTML of this output to the new value, right? So if you change it, you see the value is changing from one to hundred because we say the minimum value is one, and the maximum value is hundred. So if you change this, you're gonna change the output. All right, but what is the back? What? What? How can we change the background here? I told you we're gonna use linear gradient so all we need to do is to change this value in the linear gradient to the current value of the range slider and that's pretty easy to do pretty decent you're gonna say slider dot add event listener and we are listening to the event that's very important in this case we're gonna say mouse move and then we're gonna do a function and this function say First things first, you're gonna create a new help, helpful variable. Variable x, for example, will be slider dot value. And we're gonna say variable color will be, and we're gonna say linear minus gradient. We're gonna define again 90 degree. RGB will again the green color we used at the beginning. But now we need to say plus x, the x value we use here right now, plus percent. And we're going to define the other side of the color, RGB. And again, we're going to say plus x plus And plus percent, we close it and we close this. All right, but now we have to use this color, of course. So we're gonna say slider dot style dot background is equal to color. Safe. So of course we're gonna back me style CSS. We're gonna say we we'll start with the same color. Now we start with the same color, reload the page. It starts with the same color and it's always changing the background color. Pretty easy, right? I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and write in the comments what you think about the video. I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.